I'm off. I'm really sorry I have to do a voiceover. There was way too much noise from the wind. There wasn't really much going on. I was just too busy trying to concentrate. I honestly thought I would be shitting myself and starting to freak out, but it wasn't actually that bad. The pilot's nice and calm, steering with one hand, having a drink with the other. Just lucky it wasn't alcoholic. But then again, it could have been. It looks like water, but so does vodka. You gotta appreciate the pilot trying to keep me relaxed. Be careful when looking from a screen and then out the window. Just before you arrived, we had a girl bring a phone to take some pictures and <laughs> she threw up in the back seat. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That's reassuring. For those of you that haven't been here before, welcome to Australia. I really don't want to be one to help integrate racial stereotypes, but everywhere you look there is nothing but bush, farmland and wine yards. And it's also winter, so everything is pretty much dead. My fault. So let's just go ahead and uh, speed up past all this stuff. You see that? You can see the curvature in the earth, also known as the camera lens. Let's just speed up again, shall we? And here we have Lake Fresh, Australia's favourite drinking pond. And I know what you're all thinking, wow, Australia's gotten very industrial. But don't worry, the South Australian government had a meeting where we won't let industrial growth get out of hand. All 12 of us were there. And here are some kangaroo barracks. This is where we store kangaroos that we lend out to the poor and unfortunate families around Australia. You know, families that don't have cars or bikes, we lend them kangaroos to ride to school on. And over the other side, out this window, we can see all the beautiful colours of South Australia. We've got artichoke, army green, dark moss, hunter's green, and a bit of brown. And don't you forget you pea green. Okay, here we go. Just getting set up now. And I am really sorry you can't see it better. Using the GoPro, you didn't have a screen on the back, so we couldn't tell how close or far away the camera had to be from the screen to capture it properly. So it is a fair bit blurry, but um, you're just going to have to take my word for it. Ah, oh, some shade. That made it a little bit better. And, of course, you need to have your hood on you to trim, and I didn't have it on me. But not to worry, easy fix, just destroy the cloak, and buy it again, and therefore I get the hood without having to run to the bank. I know that you're probably thinking, oh, what a waste of five mil, just run to the bank, you gotta grab the... One thing that you gotta keep in mind though, I'm in a fucking helicopter! I don't have much time. And, of course, while trying to buy the cloak back, I need to enter my pin. I really need to plan these things a bit better. Okay, so here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And there we have it. Trimmed comp cape while in a helicopter. World first, and a big shout out to my clan, the Lions of RS. They're the people who convinced me and encouraged me to do it in a helicopter because, well, because it's awesome. And also thank you to everyone else who helped me and kept me entertained during Castle Wars and anything else that I was doing that was so tedious with trying to get trimmed. So that's it, you can turn off the video now if you want, however I'll leave everything else going so you can watch me finish the rest of the journey and you can have another look around with me if you want. If not, just hit the exit button. Simple as that. Stat Phantom here, and I'm signing off.